I this, give him the pain at all. This is Matt for Into Boxing, delighted to be joined by the considerate Matt. Matt. Matt what? Lenehan. 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 Yeah. It's an Irish last name. Lenehan. So this is Matt Lenehan for Into Boxing. <laughs> You're mugging me off. <laughs> We're here with the considerably taller today, Sugar Hill. You've chosen to uh, stand on there for us today. Yeah, I'm gonna say, how does it feel to be up there with Land of the Giants? You know what? It, things are a lot clearer up here. You know, head in the clouds, uh, getting a little bit more sun rays than I normally get at, at being at five nine. So, yeah, I'm enjoying it so far. Now, you and Tyson have had a few camps together now. Um, his style sort of evolved under you. Everyone's sort of asking, what are we going to see on Saturday night? Are we going to see him come out box a bit? Or are we going to see him do what he did in the Wilder fights where he comes forward aggressively? Obviously, you're not going to give a game plan away, but can we expect yes, to... Go on then. Go... All right, go on then. What are we doing? So, all right. Knockout. Knockouts to style. Knockouts to game. Early, late, or do you see it going a few rounds? Do you see Dillian taking him to the next? Dillian looks in, looks in good shape this camp, not what we play any games. Do you think this will go late? Do you think it could take him out early? I don't really do rounds. It's, uh, it's, it's, it's pretty much watching your opponent, watching him make mistakes, or making him make a mistake and you catch him. Yeah. Don't know when that's going to be. I'm not Dillian White. Nobody knows until on the night. Talk to me how much you've enjoyed working with Tyson over the past couple of years. Um, you also brought out a different side to him, and you can see the chemistry you two have got. You sing together, you know, <laughs> do do a lot. <laughs> What's it been like working with Tyson Fury? It's been fun. It's uh, you know, just I'm just more relaxed now because I kind of like being more myself, which which I am. And uh, you know, being around him, if I be myself, nobody's really watching me because I'm only five nine. Tyson 6'9", so they're going to be watching him a lot more. Yeah. And his voice is a lot louder than mine. He gets all the attention. So I can sit back in the background and do my thing and not get noticed as much. Listen, you get noticed. There was that, um, I don't know whether it was Vegas or wherever it was, you were both playing air guitar, shirts off, going all out when you're in the middle of a training camp. That was in the privacy of our own room. I don't know how that got out. <laughs> I'm sure you don't. Um, with everything Tyson's achieved in the sport of boxing, climbing the mountain with Klitschko, trilogy with Wilder and all the other fights he's had. What's what's left for him to do in the sport? He's talked about retirement, but with Tyson, obviously, I know he takes a day at a time and to, tomorrow he might feel different. What do you think's left for him to achieve in, in the sport? Would you want him to see, see him go up against the winner of Joshua Rusik? Your opinion, what would you like to see him do? I would like to see Tyson Fury make a decision and do what he wants to do. Whatever makes him happy, that's all I care about. It doesn't matter if he fights again or if he doesn't fight again. If he fights the winner of Usyk, he fights uh, uh, AJ, it doesn't matter to me. It's whatever Tyson Fury wants. Uh, you know, I'll be there to help him and to help him achieve that, uh, whether it's inside boxing or outside of boxing. Bam. As his record currently stands, where does he sit with some of the all-time greats? I know people aren't a fan of rating themselves until the career's done, but he beats Dillian. Say he retires after Dillian. Where does his career stand up against some of the legends of the game? Right up there. I always have to say so. Me working with him and me seeing the fighters uh, in the past and things like that and, and what what Tyson Fury really has to offer, nobody really knows yet. Yeah. Saturday night you'll find out. Tyson's style, like he's moving in the ring. Have you ever seen a heavyweight move like he does? He moves like a hundred and forty seven pounder, like gliding around the ring. Is it what what sort I've of seen heavyweight move like that before when I'm overweight? <laughs> no, a genuine one. <laughs> you know what? There's not been a heavyweight move like him uh, besides Muhammad Ali. And uh, that's one of his idols right there is Muhammad Ali. So you can see where he got it from. And uh, you see it in the ring. And now he's uh, putting power behind those shots. So uh, maybe this is like a, a Ray Robinson type of heavyweight. I don't know. Uh, we'll see. Saturday night, it's at all. Absolutely. Look, Sugar Hill. I know you've done a lot of interviews today. Thanks for giving me some of your time from all the way up there in the clouds. I know it must be difficult looking down on everyone. <laughs> Appreciate talking to In2 Boxing and fingers crossed we can catch up again this week. All right, thank you. Good talking to you, Matt. Yeah. Matt Lenehan. Lenehan. Thank you, bro. All right, no